Hi guys. All right, so Scorpio, this is gonna be for you. All right, so this is your singles read. So let's see what we, you can get from the angels with your singles read. Okay, Scorpio singles read, please. What is going on for Scorpio singles? If this does resonate, guys, remember to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. If it doesn't resonate, I will have your playlist link below in the description box. And also, guys, go over to the Instagram and support the cause. As soon as we hit the 5K mark, we're going to start those free personal readings over there live. What is this? Three of Wands. All right, Scorpio. What is this point pinking out? The Seven of Pentacles. I feel like someone is definitely waiting for the right time to be alone with you. It's like they're trying to... I feel like this person is hoping that you will come their way. Um, and again, I feel like there is it's either a friendship or a relationship that needs to be invested in. Like they want to spend more time, plant seeds. This is what I'm seeing here. I feel like this person is worrying that you won't come their way. Is worrying that things went too far. I feel like this person. I don't know. It's like they're not feeling shy or anything. It's just that they're just worried that. You know, you're going to move on. They're like waiting patiently. This is what I'm seeing. Okay. We have the Ace of Swords. We also have the Fools. So we have Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra energy coming out, you guys. So there is no form of breakthrough with this card or no change, no lesson has been learned here. I feel like this past um, situation or because these ones for me are past situations like, you know, stuff that you guys been through. And I feel like this person doesn't feel... Like they have learned anything, but it's something about you that they want to really just continue to work on this. I feel like they're learning, but they're not quite there yet. They're not quite catching what's really important here. So let's see here. I feel like this person wants a new beginning though with this fourth and there's a huge form of love and affection for you. And I feel like you feel the same way as well with this fool's being here in an upright. Okay, so a childish energy, but they care about you a lot. So um, tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. I feel like this person is willing to just jump in, jump back into this, okay? So we have the Six of Swords in reverse, okay? I feel like a lot of you are... Trying to definitely move on from this situation here in the Six of Swords. Trying to end this, trying to put a stamp on this and trying to, you know, gather your feelings again and heal from this experience. It's like you're taking a step way back. Something really hurt you here, you know, a lot of devastation um, with this energy. A lot of disappointments. So tell me more. For Scorpio singles. Okay. So we have the Four of Cups. And we also have the Page of Swords. So someone in like this energy of being loud or stern to you um this could be even jealousy i feel like this person wants to have some kind of power over you um they think that they they they're it's like they're acting like they're grown this is what i'm seeing here but i feel like this person is used to doing this to you or acting this way with you scorpio and you know i don't it's like they're in and they're out one foot in and they're out i feel like this person is not really 100% in with you in the past and this is why they're they're ready to invest to give you more to plant seeds 
to actually grow this connection <laughs> this connection excuse me the seven of cups we also have the hermit and then we also have the queen of cups we also have the knight of cups so a huge form of feelings that's coming out here the nine of swords You have a lot of anxiety with this energy. It's like you don't trust this energy. It's like you're going through a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of not taking care of yourself, you know, really healing. This person is kind of like messing up your process of healing because they're still in your life. I'm feeling like this person is going to come through and give you a lot of emotional um, energy, okay? And I feel like this person is going to want a to come off very strongly at first, but then they're going to back up into, okay, let's just take it one step at a time. I feel like this person has dreams about you, okay? They don't want that to fail. They do see you in the future or have this, this feeling about you, um, Scorpio, okay? I feel like you... There was a real complicated situation with you and this person. And you had to back away from this person. Something that you don't trust. It's about the Seven of Cups here. I feel like this person had too, many, too much time on their hands to invest in other things in the Seven of Cups. And they weren't really giving you the time of day and this is what you don't trust you know you feel like this person is just not ready for you okay are ready for what you got to offer okay so i'm seeing virgo here coming out i'm seeing again um gemini aquarius and libra major energy but i'm seeing elements like scorpio cancer pisces okay and also gemini aquarius and libra energy so tell me more about this for Scorpio. You have the Five of Wands. You have the Eight of Swords. You have the Tower, okay? So definitely Scorpio and Aries energy with Major that's coming out here. It's like a huge transition that's going on between you and this person. So most of you, you're going through a transition where you're going to have to leave and walk away from this situation if this is too much for you to bear or stay and try to fix this. And I feel like a lot of you might be just walking away for now because it's just when you think about the situation, there is way too much conflict here, way too much conflict, way, way too much source in a reading. I mean, I got one, two, three, four. Okay, so far. I feel like the Eight of Swords is you feeling restricted or you feeling like you're trapped or you feeling like this is something that the universe has given you, which is not the universe want more for you. But, you know, of course, your mental mind or your mental health is being affected by the situation, by the stress, by the suppression. Um, and you need to change this. I feel like a lot of you need to make a, uh, a decision based on what you want for yourself and where you want to see yourself. I'm also seeing you're walking away from a conflict here. You had enough. You can't fight for this person anymore. In reverse, it's like, it's just too, too much for you at this point. And it's like a conflict that is not, you don't see no, no peaceful resolution with this, you know, this conflict here. So tell me more. For Scorpio singles. Thank you, angels. For Scorpio singles. All right, so you have the page of cups here, okay? In reverse, there is like no apology. No, no apology about what they have done, but yet they want to stay or stay in your life or build a relationship with you. They want to start over, but yet they're not taking responsibility from the past, what have happened here. Then you have the Seven of Swords. Too much swords coming up in this reading already. Lies and betrayal here. You don't trust this energy, and I feel like a lot of people are telling you things. And you're finding out things. Things are going to be coming up to the surface very soon with this situation. And you're going to see everybody true colors. I'm also seeing the Knight of Swords, okay? 
Oh, not the Knight of Swords, excuse me, the Knight of Wands. So this person is very, very free-spirited and they want to have a chance with you. I feel like this person feels like there is a way that you guys can work it out. Aries, Leo, or Sag el um, elements. And also the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. That wants to be shown here as well. But you feel like, you know what, this is a loss. You need some time to think about it in the Four of Swords. You need some time for yourself. This is what I'm seeing here. Hmm. Okay. So let's see something. We'll see conclusion to this. It is angels. Tell me what's the conclusion. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Let's do the ones that flipped first. Over. Okay, so we have the Emperor, Eris Energy, okay? We have the Empress. Wow, they're both in the upright. How interesting is that? And we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So it's all about your mental state and really taking the time for yourself. I feel like um, you need to... It's not that you don't trust this energy. Well, no, I don't feel like it's not like you don't trust them because the fools is here. You know, you both feel like... There is, like, there is this thing about this relationship that you are willing to give this person another shot over and over and over again and feel really good about it, you know? But you are being affected with your mental health and you're being very protective over yourself, okay? But I feel like you and this person, there is a power struggle here, okay? Scorpio, not Scorpio, Aries is coming up and Virgo is coming up. For those of you who are with an Aries or a Virgo, Aries came out um, twice, okay, in the tower. Because, you know, Scorpio, for me as a reader, Scorpio and Aries share this card. But it's a power struggle, okay, that's happening between you and this person. You're both very hard-headed and think you know it all, okay? So, um, I feel like when this person looks at you, um, they see nothing but good things. You know, they see how beautiful you're going, you're, you are, your heart is. They see how um, much, so much things are going to happen to you because you have this determination about you. When they look at you, they feel like, you know, you, you deserve nothing but the best, right? Um, and I feel like this energy, this person wants to be successful with you, you know? But it's just up to you. This is what I'm seeing right here. It's really just up to you. Now, we have a few more cards. So we have the High Priestess, okay? We also have the Lovers in Reverse. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Six of Pentacles. So there's going to be some balance here. It's going to be good balance, okay? It's going to be some change coming towards you. And I know that you are going to be very excited about this because this is what you want because you don't want any more cycles now with that said we have the gemini energy okay the lovers in reverse and i feel like you and this person have this really strong connection for some of you this could be a past um you know lover here this could be a family member but you were always together okay this is what i'm hearing and now that you're not always together this is kind of like affecting you but it's like you're happy about it you are happy emotionally you know it's like a weight have lifted off of your back okay and you're trying to move on with your life i don't feel like you're going to be trying to find out what this person has going on even though there's a lot of betrayal going on lies and deception i feel like you know you are hearing things but you don't have the the facts or the proof about these situations and that's okay because you feel like and you believe like this is going to come towards you anyway. Everything is going to come to the surface. So it is what it is. This is what I have for you. <laughs> I hope it resonates. Singles, um, if it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.